What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Humble Warrior back with you another video. Um I wanna talk about something, man. So I had I recently I actually just got to watching first take and they had a segment on there talking about the MVP. Um even though it's weeks, it's about to be week seven, I believe it is. Um the Dolphins are currently at five and one through six games. And they wanted to, they wanted to have a discussion about um is two of the clear cut favorite for MVP this season. Of course, Stephen A got on there and in his own words, he basically said, you know, no, he feels like it's um <clears throat> that it's Tyreek Hill. And he gave the reasons why. Actually, no, he only gave one reason. This man said that Tua took a two year he throws the ball he threw the ball two yards and um basically Tyreek Hill took it the rest of the way. For the for a touchdown, which is you know, as he says, sixty to seventy yards. Now, if you watch the Carolina Panthers game when the the Dolphins played the Panthers last Sunday, go back and watch the actual game film. Two or through one short pass, which was a called screen to Tyreek Hill, a wide receiver screen that he took. I think it was forty five yards. That's the only time that two is actually throwing the ball short to Tyreek. Every single ball that Tyreek Hill has caught this year. Has been 20 yards or more down the field. 20. Check check the numbers. Go look at his numbers. He if you average 19.7 yards a catch, how in the hell are you catching a two yard route to go 70, 80 yards? Doesn't he make no sense? Can he can he make that happen? Yes. Has it happened this season? No. Their their takes now are not even making no sense toward Tua. It's almost as if. Well, because he's doing so great, we have to find a reason why we can't give it to him. We got to give it to Tyree. We got to give it to Moster. We got to give it to Waddle. We got to give it to A-Chain. All those guys are doing their jobs. Now, if you look at the numbers, Tua has currently 1,876, 1,876 yards. Tyreek has 816 yards. No, eight, 861 yards. So if you take away with the production of 861 from... I think it's 1876. You still left with over close to 1100 yards from Tua. Now, granted, if you look at if you break down the stats, Tyreek has 42 catches, Waddle has 25 or 26. Now, granted, Waddle's been hurt, and he's slowly back. He's slowly getting back into the offense. That's why his catches and his numbers are down so bad. As far as Bar Braxton Berrios, he's a possession receiver. He's not going to be utilized as much as Waddle and Hill are. However, he contributes majorly against the, the Chargers without his two critical, I think it was third down catches. We don't win that game. We don't move the chains to win the, to get to, into position to score or to even win that game. So he played a, a pivotal piece in what we did in Los Angeles. And he's been catching clutch passes from two of left and right this season. So you got Burials, you got Moster, you got Hill, you got Waddle, you got... Um, I wanted to, oh Darren Smite. You also got um A Chain before he got hurt. He was catching passes until most of the swing passes, but he was catching passes. So all these guys are contributing in their own way. Now granted Tyree Hill takes up a chunk of the yards because he he is a bon he is a certified number one overall choice. That's what he is. And there's nothing wrong with that. But to mitigate what Tua has done this season that's is fucking retarded. All you're basically saying is because of Tyreek Hill, two of numbers are the way they are. <clears throat> well, can the argument be made that because of Tua, the same can be said for Tyreek? Because when Tua got hurt those five games, tell me what Tyreek Hill's numbers look like. Tell me how many touchdowns he got. Tell me how many hundred yard games did he have. Now you see how they coincide hand in hand with each other? They're helping one another out. Because Tyreek said himself he wanted 2,000 yards. However, he didn't go about doing it the selfish way. He said that he's still a team player. He's willing to help the team win. As long as those wins, you know, continue their progress to go to the ultimate game, which is the Super Bowl. If he gets 2,000 along the way, great. Right now, he's on pace to eclipse 2,000 yards. And two is on pace to eclipse 5,300 yards. But that does not mean to mitigate what the quarterback does to make another person look so great because water still can get a thousand yards this season. He just got to get back in the groove of things. 
So it's gonna happen. Darren Smite probably gonna get over seven, eight hundred yards this year. It's gonna happen. But who do people choose to get a credit to? Tyreek Hill. Tyreek is a is a dynamic wide receiver. I don't want people to get confused or think that I'm trying to throw shade on Tyreek. By no means am I not. I almost cussed again. By no means am I not. But at the same time, you can't say with a serious with a serious face that Tyreek Hill did not benefit from having Tua back in great health, actually taking taking less hits and being on that field. It helps Tyreek tremendously because now Tyreek ain't got to worry about oh well he gonna throw me he gonna do this. Tua's been pinpoint all season long in these six games. Now they got a hell of a test coming against Philadelphia. I still believe Tua can be the same as he was last week and all those other five weeks that, he, that he's been on the field. I don't think he's going to change a bit. I think Tyreek probably going to go for 200 yards this, this Sunday night. I truly believe that. But even with all that being said, how can you sit there on first take and say that man throw a two-yard pass, but then in the right on the damn highlight thing, it's showing him throwing the ball down the field 40, 50. 60 yards down the field of Tyreek Hill. How can you sit there and say it with a straight face? And Shannon coinciding on this shit. That's what that's what really pissed me off. Shannon's co-signing this. When he's be advocating for Tua, he's a tail skip. Tua can actually play. Tua's a special player. Now all of a sudden it's Tyreek. Now all of a sudden, well, reek, 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 reek. That don't make no damn sense. They go hand in hand. Because what was the first thing people said when Reek came to Miami? All his numbers are going to crash. They're going to crash and burn. He's not going to get the numbers he thinks he's going to get because he ain't got a quarterback. All of a sudden then, he was on pace last season to get 2,000 yards. He finished with 1,700, which means he was, I think he was like 200 some yards shy of that record. That's how close he was. This year, he could shatter that record. But to sit there and say with a straight face of this man... Is basically, I mean, he can be the co-MVP. I don't care, but there's no way in the hell you're gonna, you should deny Tua of the MVP. The boy's playing at an elite level right now. And this whole argument people put up, oh well, they they don't do well, they don't do well against good teams. They do better against, you know, worse teams. Well, I got a question for those who do say that. So we did beat the New York Giants by 16. The Bills beat them by two. Did they not? We did beat the Denver Broncos by 50. What was Kansas City score to uh what was Kansas City score against Denver? Was it not 19 to 8? Now you may say, oh Q, you know, but this there's two different type of offenses. Yeah, but Kansas City had Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. Oh, so it does make a difference when play calling is involved, doesn't it? It ain't just about who you got on that field. It ain't just about that no more. So it does matter who calls the plays. Because last... Oh, shit. Now I gotta fucking do... Because last I checked, they made it seem like, oh, it was all, you know, Mike McDaniel, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it was all this, it was all that. Mike McDaniel's been a hell of a coach for two. I'm not gonna say and say he hasn't. But they made the argument that, hey, Mahomes, Mahomes is a generational talent. But tell me what Mahomes has done since Eric Bannon has been gone. Tell me how much the offense has struggled. And they still got Mahomes and Kelsey. But let me let me not get into that subject because this is another topic for another day. All I'm saying is Stephen A. and Shannon, how can you sit there with a straight face and literally sit there and say that um, that Tua is basically a byproduct, byproduct of Tyreek Hill when it's been proven that Tua, year after year after year, his first two years in the league, Tua had 1,800, then he had 26. 2,600 yards. Then this past, this last year, last season, rather, he had 3,500 yards. This is all production. All Every year he went up. He didn't go down in production. He kept going up. Now, his touchdowns went from 11 to 16 to 25. This year, he's on pace for like 42. He's already got 14. So, he's already surpassed 11. He's going to pass up. He's going he's gonna to surpass 16 probably by this Sunday night. And then he's on, he's going to obliterate 25. So he's he's on pace with like 42 touchdowns. But 
you can't you cannot make takes like this to where you sound completely ignorant. Cause saying that man, cause basically saying that he because of Tyreek Hill, you know this offense is this and this and this. Tyreek is a piece. He's a big piece of the puzzle. He's not the whole puzzle. It's like Tua. Tua is a huge piece of this puzzle. He's not the whole puzzle. You need other pieces around that puzzle to make the thing, the damn thing work. Him and Tyreek are the biggest pieces of the puzzle. But why are you trying to, to negate or neglect the fact that Tua is keeping this damn thing rolling? Once if he once he if he got hurt, or God forbid, I don't need him to get hurt no more, but once he got hurt, what happened to the offense? What happened to it? Did it look the same? Did Tyreek or Waddle look the same? Did they? I just want to know. If somebody could tell me they did, please explain to me. If they did, then why is it that we went to New England, lost that game, when we had a chance to win it and close things out to get in the playoffs. Then we had to come back home, and we beat the Jets 9. No, we beat the Jets 11 to 6. On our own home turf, we beat the Jets 11 to 6 to squeeze into the playoffs. If if it was just a system, right? That you put that you plug players into, if it was just a system, then Teddy Bridgewater and Skylar Thompson should have been just fine. Because according to according to what Skylar went through, Tyree Hill's a lot faster than most than any other player on that roster. So how are you having a hard time getting the ball? Jalen Waddle is your your second fastest receiver, probably the fastest receiver outside of Tyreek. How are you having trouble getting the ball last season? I'm confused. But you guys want to keep on pushing two out the door and anointing any other people instead of saying, hey, he is the real deal. He is that dude. I don't get it. But, guys, that's my rant, man. I mean, I, I really didn't want to rant about that, but I felt like it had to be said because I listened to two of them. I listened to them, to those two idiots today. Literally sit there and come up with reasons why not, why to not give to a to not give to a credit. Now, if he balls out against Philadelphia, I can only imagine stuff they're gonna put up about Tyreek Hill. And once again, Tyreek is a, is a phenomenal wide receiver. I'm not sitting here saying Tyreek is not. That man is one of a kind, first ballot slam dunk Hall of Famer. He already a Super Bowl champion. First ballot ain't no questions asked. All I'm saying is when I when I first started doing this, I said that Tua was gonna be legit. He's an elite quarterback. All he needed was a little help. You give him Tyree, you give him water, look at what he's doing. And he's bringing the others along with him. Yeah, we know the, the headline is him and Tua and Waddle, or Tua, Waddle, and Hill, or Tua, however you want to put it. Those three are the headliners. But the rest of those guys are with them. It's a unit. It's a team. I'm happy for Tyree, but let's not forget who his, who his quarterback is. You making it seem like he's like Tyreek is carrying Joe Webb. Like Joe Webb got three th got eighteen hundred yards through six games, and Tyreek Hill is carrying him. Now if he did that, oh hell yeah, Tyreek deserved MVP. But we're talking about a kid that people wrote off. That after two years they said, yeah, he a bust. He ain't gonna make it. He he ain't this. He ain't that. He ain't this. And they come up every reason in the book to bury this kid. And you see time after time after time, what is he doing? He's rising to the occasion. Now he has a really big game Sunday night. I can't wait to see it because I'm going to be tuned into it every single second of it. But I, I have, this nonsense got to stop. And I, I see now the media going to just keep pushing that fake, dumbass propaganda about Tua. They're never going to give him the respect he deserves until he raises an MVP trophy, until he raises a Lombardi trophy. And even then, I don't think he'll get the, the credit that he, that, he des that he really, really deserves. I don't think they're going to do it. I think they're going to come up with reasons why McDaniel and Hill are so dynamic to the Miami Dolphins. That's what's, gonna, that's what's gonna happen. Which is sad to me. But that's my time because I gotta go because I gotta help another unit. You guys will be blessed. Peace.